Alrighty, so if you guys missed it, there was a huge trade between the Padres, the Indians, and the Reds. So basically what happened was Puig from the Reds, Framil Reyes from the Padres, and then the Padres sent a couple other players to the Indians. The Padres received Ta Taylor Trammell from the Reds, and then Trevor Bauer went to the Reds from the Indians. So all the details are right here on screen. I kind of made that a little bit more confusing than it should have been, but they're right here on screen. You guys can see what happen so we're going to be focused on the reds trade trevor bauer is now a red it solidifies that rotation really solid now luis castillo sunny gray's having a good year now you got trevor bauer in the mix tanner roark does he stay does he get traded who knows but we're gonna be doing a trevor bauer reds rebuild if you want to see some more trade rumor or trade deadline rebuilds let me know in the comment section down below which ones you'd like to see subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content hit that like button that's the easiest way for me to know that you guys do enjoy the videos Alrighty, so before we get any further into the rebuild the roster is right here if you search this in the roster vault under name not username name you need to search that and i use the 2.0 version i've obviously modified it a little bit to get up to date with all the transactions and roster moves that have happened but that's the roster that I'm using. I know a lot of rosters are waiting to be put into the vault until after the trade deadline. So once that happens, I'll get a new roster for all the trades that happen. So looking at the squad, this is what we're rocking with. Really, the only change I would make is that I want Peraza starting over Iglesias. He's younger. I want him to develop. That's really about it. You know, we got Philip Irving who takes over and right instead of Puig. I think he's a young player who could develop really solid. Joey Votto is a player who if he produces... I'm cool with keeping him, but that contract makes it really hard to try to move him for something. Eugenio Suarez is good. Scott Shebler is not a player I want playing. I'd rather have Jesse Winker or Josh Van Meter starting in left. That's really that's really about it. We got Scooter Jeanette, Nick Senzel, Josh Van Meter, like I've mentioned, who's kind of like an infield left fielder. So he looks like a promising player for the Reds. And they got Kurt Casale and Tucker Barnhart. So catcher is kind of an, an area we definitely want to improve on maybe like right field if Philip Irving doesn't do well, but I feel like we have a young squad, a good core, not much needs to be changed. Pitching rotation, now we have Bauer, we have Luis Castillo, we got Sonny Gray, Tanner Roark, Tyler Maley, Alex Wood. Alex Wood's probably a player I'm looking to move, um, even though his contract does expire at the end of the year. We got Bowman, Iglesias, Amir Garrett, who if you missed it, Amir Garrett took on the entire Pirates dugout last night. He went full force, started a brawl. It was crazy crazy but amir garrett we got bowman like i mentioned we got these three guys here we do have hunter green who i don't think will feature but he's definitely a solid arm to look forward to in the future along with nick lodolo you got robert stevenson who looks like he could be a good long reliever so there's some good pieces here when you look at the lineups here um you have jonathan india blake tryon so there's there's definitely some youngsters to look out for the issue with this squad is there's some money invested. You got Vado on a long-term deal, Sonny Gray's two years, Iglesias, Suarez, Barnhart. Um, these these guys here, you're going to have to pay. So you kind of have to watch where the money is going to go. So it's really tough. I, I don't know what to do yet. I'll have to figure it out, but we do want to make some trades. Let's get into that. All right, we're going to go to the Marlins for Pablo Lopez. Um, I thought about maybe getting Trent. Ooh, Trevor Richards might be a... I don't think we haven't gotten Trevor Richards in a while. We're going to go for Trevor Richards instead. We should be able to get him for there we go. Reese Hines. He, he looks like a good future third baseman. He just won't feature for us in this rebuild. We're going to go for Trevor Richards instead um, for Tanner Roark, Jacob Heatherly, and then Reese Hines. All right. I'm going to take a shot on Taiwan Walker of the Diamondbacks for Alex Wood. It opens up a little bit of salary as well. So that's why I wanted to do the deal. All right, we're going to trade for Omar Narvaez of the Mariners for Tucker Barnhart, Scott Shebler, and Jose Siri. Um, Tucker Barnhart, he just doesn't have the hitting stats that Narvaez does. And I kind of want a little bit of a, a good average catcher. So Omar Narvaez is that man. All right, so this is how we're going to look for season one. Not too many changes. Obviously, the big addition with Trevor Bauer there. But we did also bring in Taiwan Walker and Trevor Richards. And then the bullpen. I'm going to leave it the same. The only change is Robert Stevens Stevenson is going to be the long reliever. And then we sent down Tyler Malley, who we could probably just throw in right there. And we'll, we'll be we'll be good there. Um, lineup wise, there weren't too many changes, obviously. Um, just a couple spots here and there who went where. Narvaez is that really that only change. You know, we, you see we have our, our catchers and backups right there. Uh, we actually do have another spot we could call up. 
Um, and I don't really know who we would call up. It doesn't look like we really have anybody to call up. So I might just leave it and see if we can, you know, use that open space maybe at the trade deadline acquire like a bench bat or something so we'll leave it for there for now for season one i'll see you guys at draft day all righty so the first draft for this rebuild actually went pretty solid and as you guys can see I'm, I'm covering up everything so you can't see it but let's hop into it let's see how we do so 62 overall for da damon fryman he's got 89 potential i liked the pop off the bat that was what drew me to him good speed too so maybe like a bench bat by season three. We got Kiki Gary, 72 overall, 84 potential. More of a, a bullpen arm, obviously. Good case per nine, home runs per nine. Uh, Andres Sandoval, 68 overall, 88 potential. That's a good little pickup as well. Really good contact numbers, decent speed. Not the best hitter. So maybe, maybe more of a second baseman the more I look at it. And then one of our last picks was Robert Cummins. He's 58 overall and 81 potential. Um, these two guys are actually these three really aren't anything special. I'll probably let them walk Actually, I'll bring in Guzman just because he's got 72 potential But outside of that we'll let the rest walk and he's 68. That's kind of why 51. I don't really want that So those are our picks for season one. Let's hop into the rest of the season All right, so no moves were made at like the mid-season point the trade deadline whatever you want to call it, but the season Went well, so you guys can see we were 92 and 70 and we're taking on the Braves in the divisional series. So basically, I didn't want to make any trades because everything was actually going pretty solid. And I didn't want to change things up. I didn't want to ruin anything that we had going. You guys can see Vado had the most walks. And then we look at awards, a gold glove for Suarez. So let's take a look. Let's see how things went. Trevor Bauer had close to a four ERA. I mean, I'm still going to bring him back. He's the key piece of this rebuild. That's why we're doing it. Luis Castillo, solid numbers. 354 ERA, a 131 whip. Sonny Gray was okay. He might be a player I look to trade next year. Uh, Taiwan Walker had a phenomenal season. At the midway point, he had a 2-6 ERA. So, I mean, 0.4 in terms of it, like, going up, but still a really solid ERA. And Trevor Richards, he's also, I mean, I'll take that for my fifth starter. Those are very good numbers. Uh, when we look at our bullpen, Robert Stevenson struggled a little bit. David Hernandez as well. Jared Hughes as well. And then it looks like Rizelli Iglesias cooled off. He had like a 3-4 ERA at the, the deadline. So these two definitely cooled off as the, as the season went on. Jose Iglesias hit about 260. Uh, Kurt Casale, 201. And then Josh Van Meter hit 286. He was hitting 313 at the deadline. But those are still really good numbers and very limited plate appearances. So I'll take that. Jose Praza is hitting 240. It definitely needs to go up if I want to keep them. Scooter Jeanette, we have to sign him. Um, it's going to be tough. He is a free agent this year. Probably should have done an in-season contract, but we'll take it. You know, he's an 88 with 120 RBIs and 38 home runs. We cannot let him go. Joey Votto had a very good year. 30 home runs, almost 89 RBIs. Eugenio Suarez, 40 home runs, 124 RBIs, 327 average. Derek Dietrich, woo! Man, that's nutty. Philip Irvin had a good year. He's almost an 80. Jesse Winker had a very solid year. 34 home runs, 287 average. And even Narvaez, 300 average, 23 home runs. And then Nick Senzel hit 230. Let's see anybody down here that really developed. Not Nothing too crazy, but still some, some growth happened in the team. So let's see what we can do versus the Braves. And we advance. We're taking on the Dodgers. This is definitely going to be a tough series. But um, we should actually just be able to go to like a normal rotation since we went to game five, four, four. So against the Dodgers, this is going to be a tough one. And we face an elimination right here. We're down three to one um, after winning the first game in the series, which sucks. We're going to be at Great American Ballpark, right? Yeah, great American ballpark. I don't know why I had to hesitate. I knew that's what it was. Let's go Trevor Bauer. We need you here. Looking at their lineup. I don't think there's any changes. So there's that. We get out of that inning. So can we get our own run? No, we cannot. Hmm. All right. Narvaez got on. Unfortunately, not. Nothing happening there. One, two, three for us. Almost a one, two, three for them. Vado gets on. Come on. We got to take. There we go. Philip Irving. I was talking him up. And he, he pays off. He pays off. He got us a, that that two-run lead. Ooh, that's some good pitching from Bauer right there. Definitely keep an eye on this step. No, Jock Peterson ties it up. That's going to be his last inning. 
Um, let's see if we can get another run in. Jesse Winker, let me get that sack fly. There we go. We get that lead. Moves him over to second. Narvaez walks. Senzel, three-run homer for Nick Senzel. And I did say he was going to be done. We're going to bring in Josh Van Meter. Um, I, I knew they were going to do that. Plus, we had two outs. I want to save Dietrich just in case. Into the... Oh man, our bullpen is thrashed. Um, lefty, lefty, lefty. We, I don't really want to... We're a very righty-heavy bullpen. This might come to hurt us for sure. Whoo, we got out of it. We still have that 6-2 to two lead double play. Eighth inning, we're going to go to Rizel. Boom, gets out of it. Eugenio Suarez, come on, someone do something. Philip Irving got on. And with that lead, I'm going to be safe. We got a bunch of lefties here in the lineup. We get the win there. There we go. So 6-2 to two victory. If we can snag this win, that would be clutch heading into the game number seven. We are back at uh, Dodger Stadium. Luis Castillo is going to take the mound. He struggled. Oh, man. Oh, wow. These three. and Oh, woof. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Ryu's on the mound for them. We're going to have a good matchup. Ryu versus Castillo. Two Cy Young candidates this year. Omar Narvaez comes in the clutch with the home run there. They get their run back. Ooh, they take the lead on a Bellinger double. So it's a two to one ball game. Three to one one ball game. So we got we got to get these runs back very soon. Castillo's probably done after five. Um, I'm actually gonna pinch run for him at first. Um we'll use Van Meter. A single first and second. Double play. Oh, that one hurts. We had it. Uh, we're gonna go to Hughes. Gets us gets us an inning. That's what we're gonna look for him. Um, we're not gonna let him go anymore. We're gonna go to Bowman. He gets us out of that inning too. Okay. We're gonna pinch hit for him. We got a lefty. We're gonna go to Iglesias. He flies out. Man. So eighth inning. We'll just go to Iglesias. Rizel this time. He gets us out of it. So two runs. Can we do it? Top of the lineup. One out, Julio Urias came in. A double keeps us alive. Suarez, and that's our season. A little bit of a comeback towards the end. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the win. I mean, the Dodgers won 115 games. That's going to be a tough matchup for us for sure. We put up a good fight. The Dodgers beat the, I'm sorry, the Dodgers beat the Tigers. I'm sorry, what? What did they do to get into that position? nothing they didn't really make any changes they just had a really good season i guess so the dodgers beat the tigers mind blown let's hop into the off season let's see what changes we can make um nobody retired nobody from our team was in the hall of fame so looking at this we definitely want to bring back scooter Jeanette. um hopefully he signs 13 and a half's a lot the rest i'm jose iglesias he's a decent little bench bat the thing is, he's going to want to be an everyday starter. And I just I just can't offer that. And $7 million is a lot. So we're going to let him walk. We're going to we're just going to let the rest walk. See if we can find other pieces that have just as good of a bat for cheaper. Like I said, we do have quite a bit of money that's paid. Vado, Jeanette, Sonny Gray, Suarez, Iglesias. So we, we got to be smart with what we have. So arbitration-wise, um, everybody... I mean, how much is his two million? We'll let him walk. The rest we'll probably bring back. And then looking at contracts. Um, oh yeah, we're definitely giving everybody a contract. All right, to start season two, we're gonna go for a lefty in the bullpen. We're gonna go Julio Urias from the Dodgers for Tyler Maley, um, the right fielder Aristides Aquino, and then Brandon Finnegan, who's also a starting pitcher. Both of them. When I look at Tyler Maley's stats, it's just they're too low for the per nines. And then we got Brandon Finnegan. We got plenty of other pitching options. And then Aquino, I'll show you why we'll trade one of our better hitting like prospects for the outfield in just a second. So after that, we'll take a look at our roster history because we signed quite a bit in free agency. Um, not him, but we signed quite a few left fielders because they looked pretty good. Frederick Foreman was available. 68 overall with B potential. Look at that power already. So I like the looks of him. Benjamin Mesa was another one, 73 overall, B potential, decent arm strength, good hitting stats already. So 
our left field spot on top of the player that we already drafted in Andres Sandoval we have a lot of left fielders with a lot of good potential so let's take a look at the rest of the squad just to kind of show you what we're working with now um this is this is kind of what it is you know I mean I kind of like the looks of it I think Rizal Iglesias should probably go there but when you look at the starting five it's the same as last year in the rotation um I want to see how Taiwan Walker does we do have Lucas Sims who is developing very very quickly he also does have a lot of trade value he also could fill this spot since I know Robert Stevenson did kind of struggle here but when you look at it I mean maybe take out Cody Reed bringing bring in Lucas Sims and then put him in the long relief role that could possibly work and when you look at our, our lineup we don't really have too many changes the only change I did do was I brought in Didi Gregorius um, and then I saw we have a lot of lefty bats so that might might be a little bit of an issue we might have to trade one of our lefties away um, just to find a little bit more space but normally this is what we'd be rocking with Didi's kind of in a spot where maybe we don't really need him we brought back Iglesias we still have Peraza we'll see it really depends on how he performs maybe at the mid midway point we'll change it up so that's really the squad I don't really want to make too many other changes to it I want to see how this plays out I like a lot of the moves that we made um, a lot of them were small pieces that I think are going to help us out a lot so let's just see how season two plays out for now and I'll see you guys at the trade deadline day all right the trade deadline day this is what we're working with we're going to trade that one one of our left fielders that we found frederick foreman for scott oberg we're in need of a little bit of strengthening in the bullpen so i think this will help us out um we do have an extra man in the major league roster now so we're gonna have to figure out how to do a trade that'll uh open up a spot for oberg all right we're gonna go for zach plesek of the um, the Indians, he looks really solid. His per nines and stuff are actually pretty high for a 24-year-old. He's only going to get better. Um, he's got a low ERA this year. We're going to trade him for Sonny Gray, Jose Iglesias, and Mike Siani. We're also trading for Jason Kipnis. That was really the only way we could get this trade across um, because of the salary. So we are losing Jose Iglesias, but we do still have Jose Peraza. And adding um, Jason Kipnis isn't, isn't a terrible bench bat to have. All right, so after our moves, this is how we're looking at the trade deadline. Um, so basically, the second half of the season is going to look like this. Um, Police acts in the five spot. Tywin Walker's having a pretty solid season. We brought in Scott Oberg, and then we sent down Lucas Sims. He had like a five and a half ERA. And then really the only change here is that Jason Kipnis is going to be on the bench compared to Jose Iglesias. But we still do have Jose Peraza, so I think things will be just fine. Everything is going well, so let's see how the second half of the season plays out. All right, this month of August I'm about to show you was incredible. The month of September, not so much, but I guess it doesn't really matter because we still made the postseason. I kind of skipped already that part. But look at this month of August. We only lost four games. Four games. That is insane. Obviously, you guys can see we finished 98 and 64. The month of September, a little bit of a down month. Definitely. We lost quite a few games, but... Luis Castillo had the most strikeouts, and then Rookie of the Year for Zach Plesac, and then a gold glove for Nick Senzel. So when you look at the standings, we won the division by 16 games. So the Central, little weak right now it seems, but let's take a look. Trevor Bauer had a really good season once again. He does hit free agency this year, so we're going to have to find a way to bring him back. Luis Castillo, solid season, 249 ERA, 265 strikeouts. I don't know how he didn't win Cy Young with those numbers i need to see why he didn't win cy young uh patrick corbin 281 era 255 strikeouts 1.14 whip i mean that's the whip's better the era is this so what? what yeah how did he not win everything is better on luis castillo compared to patrick corbin maybe the wins and losses but overall i'm pretty happy with everything police act looks solid his era even went down um taiwan walker was okay he does hit free agency this year um so we do we do have lucas sims who he struggled this year but his per nines are going up they're not too much different than taiwan walker maybe we do that instead we just let lucas sims pitch um trevor richards era is a little high but i think we can work around one player with a four era uh robert stevenson solid amir garrett struggled a little bit this year um, which was disappointing matt bowman finished really well scott oberg did really well lorenzen Uriah struggled a bit so it's like our lefties are a little bit unreliable which is a little worrying and then Rizal Iglesias took over for Amir Garrett and did quite well there let's take a look at the lineup really quick um our bench is okay Scott or not Scott Josh Van Meter is pretty solid 347 average with 50 at bats I mean that's pretty good um everybody else a little bit disappointing 
but I think we'll be able to work around that. Scooter Jeanette, just unreal. I think we signed him for two years, so we have him for the rest of this, this which is good. Philip Irving is only getting better and better. Really solid replacement for Puig. I mean, when he's hit, when he's slugging 525 and an OPS of 904, I think we got a really, really good solution there in right field. Joey Votto is probably going to start to dip in rating really, really quickly, but he'll be fine. Um, Eugenio Suarez did quite well. Jesse Winker, Omar Nervaez. I mean, 23 homers for a catcher nowadays. That's really solid. Good amount of RBIs. Um, base percentage slugging OPS is all way up there. So it's really good, really good. So Didi Gregorius, he was a one-year player. And to be honest, he did really well. 22 homers, 71 RBIs. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that at all. That's a really good pickup for us. I mean, Peraza's bat. I know he had limited appearances this season, but even when you look at last year, it's it's not the same when you got Didi Gregorius, you know, tripling his home runs, his RBIs, etc. Derek Dietrich, solid. 250 is about the same as what Peraza's doing. I mean, pretty similar you know, at bats to what Praza did last year, but I'm not going to like freak out. I know they're two different types of players. Derek Dietrich's a homer or a power type guy. Praza's, Praza's not. So, and then Senzel hit 264 with 20 home runs. So that's good. He doubled his home runs. That's always good to see. When we look at our farm system, Jonathan India is up to a 69. Um, Benjamin Mesa, who we signed, potential's going down, overall's going up. But overall, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Andre Sandoval, who we drafted, he's up to a 73. And then we had that center fielder who we drafted, which was, what is his name? I don't see him. So I'm going to just move past it because I don't see him here at all, which means he's probably in AAA. Um, let's take a look at the pitching rotation because we do have a couple guys. Hunter Green, Nick Lodolo, um, pretty solid pretty solid so so far so good i like what i'm seeing with the team everyone's progressing and overall i mean joey Votto, not so much which is expected he's uh you know he's an aging player so looking at the team going against the nationals so it's gonna be a tough one they do have patrick corbin but we beat them swept them actually three straight games were taken on the dodgers now who were who were our uh <laughs> our uh, little achilles heel last year so Let's head into this one, see how things go. We get the first win, we lose the second game, and the third, and the fourth. So it's the same spot we were in last year. This game, last year we won, but then we lost the next one. So let's take a look. They do have Tyler Maley. Oh man, is he gonna come back to just destroy us? I have a feeling he is, which is gonna suck. And, ooh, do we go with Bauer? And just deplete deplete our pitching so looking at their squad it looks like they haven't changed anything you know it looks like Tyler Maley is gonna be um, pitching for them let's see how this goes first and second with one out we got the guys on the corners can't take advantage of it so that triple leadoff triple doesn't hurt us okay come on Senza I need you to hit the sack fly get the run in that's all I want so we got the lead which is good bases loaded with zero outs bases clearing double We do come we get one back okay two back so i mean it's not too bad so i guess i shouldn't i shouldn't be getting down just yet but i think that might be it for trevor bauer just four innings as i say that i let him hit and we tie the game up which is good but yeah trevor bauer is 100 done we're gonna go to i don't want to play a lefty matchup because they do have a lefty heavy top of the lineup so we're gonna go stevenson and that works out perfect Run scores, we take the lead back. Ooh, two runs this inning. So that's good. Mm, tie ball game, okay. Probably should have went to the lefty there, but I think we'll be okay. It's a tie ball game. We're in a good spot. Mm, do we take out Stevenson and pinch run for him? Yeah, we probably should. So we're gonna put in, we're gonna put in Peraza. Swing the bat. Ooh, come on, we gotta take advantage of this. Joey Votto. Jesse Winker grounds out with the bases loaded. All right, so again, I don't really want to use just a lefty right now. So we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Oberg and gets us out of it. Perfect, Irving. Mm, come on, we got to we got to do something here. Double play gets us out of it. We're gonna pinch hit. They got the righty up. So I think Derek Dietrich has to be the man that comes up. Gets out, man. All right, so lefty portion coming up. I mean, they have two lefties coming up, so 
pinch runner and oh, man probably should have went to the righty there really probably should have and then that's our season again the dodgers defeat us which is disappointing um i mean yeah we probably should have went to the righty but amir garrett had the two outs i feel like they definitely should have he could have gotten out of it you know he's one of our better pitchers but unfortunately just didn't play out so we we, lo we lose dodgers go on to win and uh, let's see what what we're working with for the rest of this rebuild i think it's gonna be tough we do have to bring back trevor bauer like this is the whole point of the rebuild um he's probably gonna, he's gonna want a lot so let's just let's just lock it up make sure he signs we'll even give him a player option so he's all the way up there i mean i'm gonna give peraza a shot and then i'm gonna let everybody else walk how much does Derek dietrich want about four a year I'm going to hold off on Dietrich. Taiwan Walker pitched really well. But again, we do have Lucas Sims coming up. So I feel like rather than paying Taiwan Walker, who's going to want quite a bit of money, let's just hold off for now and see what we can see what we can do. We have to offer all these guys arbitration. Um, yeah, everybody's going to get arbitration. Looking at contracts, everyone's going to get a contract, especially this guy. He had a phenomenal year last year. I only expect him to get better. So there's that. Let's hop into season three. All right, start season three off. We're going to go for a little bit better of a pitcher in Griffin Canning. His his per nines are a little bit better than Lucas Sims. You guys can see Lucas Sims are mostly in the 50s and then the high 60s, one in the 81. But then when you look at this, you know, they're, they're, they're a little bit better. So we're going to go for that. Um, that should be our fifth starting pitcher. And when you look at the rest of the squad, you guys can kind of see that I'm not too sure we really need much more we did go out and we didn't pick up anybody from uh the from free agency for relief you know we brought up cody reed he looks like a decent little lefty i mean we we could probably improve in the bullpen but for now i feel like with the way the team's performed in the bullpen has been pretty pretty consistent we brought in jed jerko and freddie galvis but outside of that everything else is pretty pretty standard um yeah, I mean, nothing else has really changed. I don't really know what I would change when you look at the lineup. It looks really, really strong. I don't really see any changes that could be done. Maybe a better shortstop. But at the same time, is it is it really necessary? You know, I don't, I'm not too sure yet. So I'm going to take a look a little bit more, see if we do need to make any changes. If we do, I'll definitely show you guys. But for now, I think we're fine. You know, I really, the, my biggest question mark is going to be the bullpen. But other than that, I think the lineup looks pretty solid. Starting rotation looks good. You know, our our setup roles look really solid. So I think we're good right now. Let's see how this season plays out. Alrighty, at the deadline, we're gonna trade Rizel Iglesias, Robert Cummings, and Gavin Gavin Lavalley for Connor Sadzek. He's having a good year. Uh, 280 ERA last year. He had a 311. So very reliable arm. The thing with Iglesias currently is that his ERA is just really high. And it's actually been kind of fluctuating. So four, three, four. So I'd rather just get someone I can rely on a little bit. And then I think that'll be it. You know, everything else looks kind of, it looks fine. You know, everybody else is pitching quite well. Julio Urias is a little bit of a question mark for me still, which is kind of disappointing. Robert Stevenson, kind of the same thing. A little bit of a question mark. Starting rotation looks fine. The lineup's doing quite well at this point in the season. Really, it's just Philip Irving. Who's been very consistent for us the last two years, so I expect him to kind of get back into that that high 200s, maybe low 300s. And then Nick Senzel is kind of a question mark as well. He's just not hitting the ball well. Um, I said well way too much in that sentence. But overall, the team's doing very, very good. I almost said well again, but the team's doing good. Let's see how the rest of the season plays out. All right, so we won the division again. So it's been, what, three straight seasons. We've won the division. We've made the playoffs. And both times we've been knocked out by the Dodgers. So hopefully we can get past them this time. 96 and 66. And let's take a look. Let's see how things are. Ooh, no league leaders. No awards. When you look at the standings, you guys can see, again, a very big lead on the central. And then let's take a look at the just how things went. Ooh, it looks like I don't like that. I don't like that they sent down some pitchers at all. That is, that is not good. So I want to remove him. Who did they, they sent down Cody Reed, which I don't understand because he was very good for us. Why would they bring up this guy? Makes no sense, but let's take a look. Let's see how we're supposed to look. They actually sent down somebody else too. What is going on with the CPU? Yeah, Bowman, did Bowman do poorly? No, he didn't. So why did they, 
we'll figure out who they who they took out it's most likely they brought up another bench bat so let's look let's take a look Luis Castillo looks like he struggled a little bit in the second half Trevor Bauer did the opposite he got better in the second half so when you look at his three seasons pretty solid this one a little bit of a high ERA but you know ERA is a little bit higher normally nowadays but this one's solid this basically identical years back to back um Trevor Richards had a phenomenal season compared to his last year um great ERA good whip I like that Zach Plesek solid really solid wins and losses aren't there but you know what if you're posting a 3.18 ERA and a 1.2 whip I'm cool with that Griffin Canning didn't do as well as I would have hoped which is a little disappointing Robert Stevenson definitely had a good second half and then when you look at it, how everybody pitched in the bullpen I have no worries at all everybody kept their ERA under four very solid so let's take a look they brought up Kyle Farmer that's who they brought up as our extra bench bat don't really understand that move but Philip Irving there we go 300 average 23 homers 80 RBIs when we look at the rest of the squad you're looking at a good amount of home runs good amount of RBIs Eugenio Suarez is up there as well Joey Votto has definitely fallen off so unfortunately he wasn't able to keep you know that good contact Joey Votto it's just it it was it was time you know it's eventually gonna happen Jose Peraza hit about 250 and then Nick Senzel had a down year as well. So unfortunately, Senzel and Peraza really didn't ever do much in terms of the hitting, which kind of sucks. I mean, 20 home runs last year is th like this was a good season. 264 is not bad. 329 base percentage, 787 OPS, 20 home runs, 80 RBIs. Like that's good. I like those numbers. This is where it's like, man, he should be doing so much better. You look at his stats, it's solid. So I mean, Maybe if you give it another two, three seasons, he definitely will hit that peak where he's really good. I mean, when you look at his age, he's only 25. So there's that. Same with Peraza. He's 26. He should get a little bit better. You'd have to wait and see. So it's the make or break year. We'll see how things go. We're facing the Braves for the second year in a row, maybe the third year. And we are facing elimination. Like, just... I need that revenge against the Dodgers. Let me get it. So we're going to go with Luis Castillo. Actually, no. This is Trevor Bauer's um, rebuild. We got to go with Trevor Bauer versus Chris Sale. Okay. So looking at their lineup, they brought in Nicholas Castellanos, which is a big move. They have Clint Frazier, Mike Moustakis. Okay. Um, Shea Langoliers is a catching prospect, I think, in their system. And it is already 3-0, 4-0. Maybe Trevor Bauer was not the move because now it is five nothing. Obviously, facing Chris Sale is not the best scenario, but man, five nothing, really. So that's that's four innings of Trevor Bauer. He is done. That is a very disappointing outing for sure. We're gonna bring in Jed Jerko. He doesn't do anything with it, and unfortunately, that's that's Trevor Bauer's era in the Reds done. Like it is over. And it's looking like our season might be over as well. We have three innings left to bring, you know, oh, bases loaded though. There's one run. We're down, so we, we definitely need to we need to do something. Galvis, can you give me at least a sack fly? All right, gets us within three. I'll take that. So maybe, maybe not yet. I didn't want to bring in, yeah, I didn't want to do that. So we're going <laughs> to, I didn't want to bring him in. We're going to bring in Scott Oberg, and he gets us out. Okay, perfect. So we got two innings to get three runs can we do it okay so we got one inning to get three runs can we do it they bring in steve c shack we have a double runner was thrown out at home oh man why couldn't we just kept it at the corners i think that's it that five five runs in two innings really just set the tone for the game trevor bauer lets us down and that's that's the rebuild you know unfortunate the Dodgers win again so we would have faced the Dodgers if we would have gotten past the Braves it's just I don't Trevor Bauer man you it sucks that the first outing that you did was so good but that outing right there just ruined everything because you gave us three solid seasons you know when you look at the squad everything looks really good pitching is only gonna get better you have Lodolo and Green down here um, I mean you're set up for a really solid future it just sucks that Trevor Bauer wasn't able to deliver in that one game. We just needed one game to really set the tone. And unfortunately, it just it wasn't there. 
Um, could the team been a little bit better? Yeah, if we cleaned out the farm system, we definitely could have had a really solid, you know, we probably could have had like 87 plus on every single position. But at the same time, I just, I feel like that just kind of gets boring. And you guys always want me to try to find new players or try out new players. And that's what I've been trying to do now that we're kind of at the second half of the MLB season where let's try out new players that we haven't tried out before. I'm waiting on writing rosters to drop their new roster today as this video goes live. So you guys know that there will be a new roster that I'll be using for the rest of MLB. So that's really about it. Um, I know I used a different roster today than the one I'm talking about now, but you know, there's, there's definitely some changes that'll be coming in the rebuild. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's rebuild. Again, if you guys want to see future rebuilds with the trades that happen from the deadline, let me know which ones in the comment section down below. And I think that's, that's, I think that's really it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I've said, hit the like button. If you do subscribe, if you are new and enjoy the content, leave a comment of which rebuild you would like to see next. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.